Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning I'd like to capture my, my, my thoughts with the words environmental hazards. Environmental hazards. That is environmental dangers. Now, I, I, I read something in the book of Isaiah chapter 6 verse 5. Now Isaiah for five chapters had been prophesying, that says the Lord, that says the Lord, that says the Lord. Then in chapter 6, he has a, a, a startling encounter, a remarkable encounter. And that is, he saw God, he saw the blah, 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 you know. Then, at the, at the sight of God, Isaiah let out a cry. And for me, that cry is very pertinent. And he said, woe is me, for I am undone. Chapter 6, verse 5. Woe is me, for I am undone. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell amongst the people with unclean lips. Oh, wow, wait, wait a minute. This is what Isaiah is saying. I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell among the people of unclean lips. So Isaiah is saying, listen, I have my character, or I have become a character of my environment. I have become a creature of my environment. My environment is, um, is a people with unclean lips. That is, they, they may be talking rubbish, they may say a lot of wrong things, they may take us through the pathway of Billingsgate, or all those other things. But here's the thing, Isaiah said, I have also acquired that character. I have also acquired that habit. Even though I'm a prophet, even though I'm a man of God, even though I'm the spokesperson of God, even though I have revelations, Isaiah said, hey God, I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell amongst the people. That means my environment has influenced me. My environment has had a telltale effect on me. My background is speaking into me. My, 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 my present is speaking into my future. My yesterday is speaking into my present. Isaiah said, I have acquired certain things because of the environment. My environment is a hazardous environment. And as a result of that, it has rubbed off on me. It's like that God needed to intervene and God had to deal with the lips. Is there a possibility that sometimes our background plays a very dangerous effect? On us in our present and mass our present and destroys or 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 or, or, or taints our, our, our present and make people look at us in another way because the past is speaking in our present. Isaiah's environment had affected his ministry. Isaiah's environment has affected his character. Because he said, I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell amongst the people with unclean lips. I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell amongst the people of unclean lips. This is what he said. And that became one of the biggest challenges that Isaiah, God had to deal with it. You know what? People are product of their genes, and people are product of their, of their environment, and people are product of their circumstances, and people are also product of the grace of God, and people are product of their experiences. Sometimes we need to allow coals of grace to reformat us or to change some things about us. Sometimes we need to allow grace to begin to minister to certain areas, certain environmental hazards we have acquired, certain environmental hazards that are embedded in our system, that are embedded in the way we operate. Sometimes we, allow, we need to allow a touch of grace from above to deal with it. But as usual, I mean, the choice is always yours, and I can't force you, but the choice is yours. So, see you later.